Let's go to Court Clopping in the Storm Tracker Weather Center with what you need to know heading out the door. Yeah, Linda, and as you're getting ready to take on the day, you may want that light extra layer early on this morning, but you're going to want to make sure you're dressed for the heat heading into this afternoon. Temperatures on the rise today. We're still dealing with gusty winds out of the northeast early on this morning, and that is leaving us with elevated fire danger for at least the early portion of today, and it will be dry and fairly warm for the rest of this week. Today, the last day of summer, it's going to feel a little bit more summer like than yesterday. Tomorrow, the first day of fall, a little bit of a dip in temperatures for that. But then after that, we'll be heating up for your first full days of the fall season. Now, as far as what we're seeing today, a red flag warning for high fire danger in effect through 11 a.m. this morning in the Sierra and foothills. Winds gusting up to 45 miles an hour out of the northeast are possible. Humidity below 25%, so it's dry and windy out there. Starting off your morning, we're in the 50s to low 60s in the valley. Foothills in the 60s to low 70s. 30s to 40s in our mountain zones right now. Wind mostly out of the northeast. Not especially strong early on today where we are still seeing some areas that are gusty in the canyons. But as we head into this afternoon, what we're starting to see is south winds developing. This is going to pull more wildfire smoke north into our region from the south, and that will bring bigger impacts to air quality later today. Winds lighter tomorrow morning and then picking up out of the south heading into tomorrow afternoon. Satellite and radar showing you clear skies overhead early on this morning, so it's going to be a sunny day ahead. You're going to want those sunglasses. You're getting ready to take on the day and what we're seeing driving our forecast high pressure building in from the Pacific, heating us up quite a bit. But take a look at this. We've got a substantial area of low pressure tracking towards the Pacific Northwest. This is going to result in a modest dip in temperatures heading into your Wednesday that slides through overhead. We do stay dry for our region as that low pressure moves off to the east. It then retrogrades back to the south and west into southern Southern California, and that brings the another blocking pattern to keep us dry and fairly warm for the rest of this week. But then we do cool down by several degrees as we head through this weekend. Temperatures this afternoon ending up in the 80s to low 90s for the northern mountains. If you're in the Sierra, it's 70s to 80s later today. Foothill areas mostly in the 80s for your Tuesday afternoon with the red flag warning in effect through this morning. And if you're in the valley, it's mid 90s for your afternoon with south winds to around 10 miles an hour later today. West winds in the mid valley for this afternoon. Your storm tracker seven day forecast where your weekend's always in view. Temperatures falling by a degree or two for your first day of fall on Wednesday, then back up into the mid to upper 90s Thursday and Friday, dipping by a few degrees on Saturday, and then it's upper 80s to lower 90s Sunday with mid to upper 80s for the start of next week. So Linda, it's a bit of a roller coaster ride going on in your forecast. It's going to be a fairly warm and dry start to your fall season, heating up through Friday, then temperatures dropping as we head through the start of next week.